Hello everyone. This is a new game plus no damage, no save, no damage run through of Resident Evil 7's End of Zoe on Joe Must Die difficulty. A no commentary version can be found in the pinned comment in the comment section below. There's only one left. I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is my home. Apparently, I belong. I'll send help. I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help! What the hell you boys up to? That's her, all right. Zoe Baker. She's still breathing. Call in the HQ. What'd you say, Zoe? Sir, do you live here? What the hell's wrong with her? We're Zoe! here to help. So everything. What in God's name have you done? Sir. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh my goodness, Zoe. What the hell do they do to you? Listen to me. We're here to help. <laughs> no, I don't believe you, boy. Tell me, what kind of help comes in a helicopter gunship? You don't know what you're talking about. You don't get it. You think I don't know who you people are with all these Monsters running around here. Tell me, where did they come from? It's not what you think. You don't understand! Well, I don't understand! You see that girl back there? Look! That there, my brother's little girl. My niece, you understand? And around here, family is a righteous cause. And you ain't gonna kill my family! Now see, that ain't something I can abide. For fuck's sake, she's infected. She's dying, and we're both gonna fucking die if we don't get the fuck out of here right now. <clears throat> she ain't dead yet, boy. So I figure you better do something about it. For I feed you two little friends outside. You okay. There's a cure. You're lying to me. <clears throat> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. We were on our way to get her treatment, and you fucked that up when you jumped us. They're probably still waiting for us right now. Ah, well. They took it to an old shack. So I should mention that uh, I did this I New Game Plus because games. doing a New Game No Damage run of End of Zoe is pretty much next to impossible. Particularly because of all the jack fights, but uh, otherwise it's definitely possible to do no damage on everything else except the jack fights. We're basically just trying to let that guy attack. Then we're gonna crouch over him and uh, try to knock his head off. But I basically just decided to go full New Game Plus for this one. So if you're disappointed in me because of it, I understand. 
I'll probably do a new game walkthrough for uh, End of Zoe later. But I kind of had fun running and gunning and uh, just destroying everything this playthrough, so. I actually completed this about two years ago, just like right after the DLC came out. And I just never got around to uploading it because it's like, eh, well, you know, this is the only recorded footage that I have of this. Do I want to upload it or not? It is New Game Plus. People are probably going to complain about it. But whatever. It's been sitting on my hard drive forever, so let's uh, go ahead and get it out of the way. I'm going to wait for this guy to come this way, and then we're going to blow him up. The explosives will actually kill these guys in one shot. So Joe must die difficulty. Uh, pretty much anything can, like almost anything, can kill Joe in one hit. What? The? Regardless of anything, so. Jesus Christ. Got a little bit of cure left. I really like the over-under shotgun anyway. No. No, no, no. Oh, I... <coughs> <coughs> All right. Now just just let it work. Oh, was it? It won't be enough. She needs a full dose to heal completely. There's more at our base. Just untie me, and I'll take you there. Please! What base? No shit, bro. Your brother's turned into fucking swamp thing. Okay. It's okay now, Zoe. The creature from the deep or whatever. Creature from the Black Lagoon, that was it. Your worries are just a little further.
Well, they got calcified Zoe's jiggle physics down. Okay, you'll be safe here. Now just you wait here. I'll be back with something to make you better. One thing that uh, End of Zoe has to offer that I really like is the uh, is all the stealth kills that you can do. So by sneaking around those first two dudes and uh, throwing a knife at the explosive, you can take out the two four-legged molded. But there's also a lot, a lot of traps. So Jack shows up here. We're just gonna use the shotgun on him twice. What? Oh come on! Just stay down. If we're playing this new game, then that would probably be the uh, best place to actually use the first two shotgun shells you get. If you're playing new game on Joe Must Die, if you're playing on Joe Must Die, then I think you already have the shotgun unlocked from the other playthrough to begin with. Shit ton of traps in Joe Must Die, though. I kind of wish that I did the commentary for this, like, right after I recorded this, because... Kind of having to remember all this stuff on the fly, but I guess I'll do my best. So I believe there's, like, one, two molded over here. I wasn't able to get the stealth kill off, so I'm just going to run up behind him and uh, blow his head off. Same with this dude. Reload cancelling, just like in the main game. As soon as we see one, two... Then we uh, use guard cancel to uh, cancel the reload animation. Try not to use the uh, dual gauntlets where I could help it. Unless I absolutely needed to, because melee weapons are pretty dangerous to use in general. We can just sit over here and we're wait waiting for the four-legged molded. He just walks right into the uh, dynamite over there anyway. Let's try to wax this guy so that we can get the, uh, get the knife over here. We don't want to deal with any sucker punches neither. Actually, I don't even, don't even need to get that. Of course, while we're on stairs, the best weapon to use is going to be the shotgun, bar none. If we had the molded on a higher elevation level than us, then we'd probably use bombs instead. We'll use the gas trap to take out this dude's legs. 
in general, strategic use of the traps is going to is going to assist greatly with killing a lot of enemies, especially on new game. We gotta take out every enemy up to this point because there's gonna be a four-legged molded here in a second. And we want the four-legged molded to follow us over into the trap that we did not destroy earlier. We're basically just gonna keep luring him around in circles. Luring him into traps. I believe it takes like what, three traps in order to take him out? that we stay far away when the fat molded explodes. Because it can still damage us. What? Oh, come on! This is it. Finally. Did you bang on it a few times? Did it work? If in doubt, reboot it with your foot. So normally we just fight this fight with our fists, but fuck it. I'm just gonna blow his ass up because it'll stun lock him. How many bombs now? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whenever he goes in, whenever he's about to get back up and come in and hit us, that's uh, generally when we want to have a bomb set up so that we can stun him and uh, interrupt his attack animation. Dude, Joe's got some ridiculous strength, even though the molded are actually quite fragile. I'm coming for you, Zoe. On the way back, just got a couple more molded to kill. And we're gonna advance to the next section.
Map number three is another boathouse section. Got to go through multiple boathouses and basically just run a gauntlet against all these enemies here. I'm going to show off a few ways to manipulate these guys. If you like, uh, walk towards the garbage and you walk towards that, uh, walk towards that, that, uh, support beam on the left-hand side, then those alligators will, uh, will just run away because they can't complete their attack animation. Then we're going to go into the lake over here and uh, try to destroy as many traps and as many gators as we can. Go and destroy the barrels because they're not really, uh, they're not really uh, too terribly useful. And then we're just going to use the shotgun to snipe this fat molded from all the way over here. Jump into the water, destroy the trap, so that we can climb back up the other side. There's only one gator in the water right there. Then we gotta run past all three of these and then crouch under this one. Before the gas traps will hit us. Take advantage of the traps in this room to destroy that bolt right there. We're going to blow this door up. And then we're going to plant a bomb there around the corner in order to destroy the trap around the corner. Because there's really no other way to do it aside from jumping in the water with some other uh, gators. There's a weird angle where you can throw a knife in order to blow that one up, if I recall correctly. Shot that four like or shot the fat molded over there so I could get him to uh, go towards the other trap and shoot him. In general, because we don't really have very many uh, DPS options, especially at the range that we're at, it's always going to be better to try to lure the fat molded into traps. Of which there were three. I decided to shoot him one time there to make sure this hitbox was deactivated. A lot of throwing spears as well. <sighs> throwing spears aren't too terribly useful when you have a shotgun and a knife though. When you have a shotgun and you got throwing knives. Die, motherfucker. Try to crouch and be stealthy here in order to kill these guys. There's gonna be this guy. Fire off our shotgun on the first possible frame, get some distance, try to blow his head off. Now I'm just going to plant as many bombs as I can. And uh, one survived. Fortunately, the puke. While you can see the puke is rendering and it's hitting through the uh, mausoleum there, 
It can't hit us if we're on the other side of a wall, so... Gotta wait for the puke to be done, and then we'll try to light his ass up when we come around the corner. It's a goddamn sacrilege. How was he able to avoid oh, drowning hell, there? Boy. Some What's old Deus Ex Machina there. Now we're about to turn into One Punch Man. knife at that destructible back there then we grab the gloves and uh, just slowly take everything out one at a time what the hell is this one of their fancy toys ready for you So we're just kind of trying to take these guys out one at a time. Obviously go for the head where we can. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, stick and move. Wait until this guy gets done puking. Then we're going to run in. Punch him in the face. He's going to puke while he's getting back up. He's dead, so we're going to just camp right over here. Wait for him to blow up. to get rid of these dudes and I'm pretty sure we can avoid the fat molded in the next room but I might kill him anyway I remember there was a fat molded in the next room yep there he is okay so we punch him and then we run because he won't puke while he's in while he's in stagger so Now we're in the backyard and we can get the rest of our stuff. And all that's left is Jack. Jesus. What happened here? Make sure that we get the infinite weapons. There we go. Fantastic. <clears throat> Just you wait, Jack. Zoe's coming with me. Zoe! 
Zoe! Zoe! Wake up! Wake up! While this fight isn't too terribly difficult, uh, with the, uh, with the dual gauntlets, which you can actually get from, uh, meeting all the extreme challenges on normal, I think. It's still not going to end very quickly. And so I'm just going to use these, uh, use these bombs to get rid of them. That's the end of that. If you like what you see, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So, hang in there. Check out my other no damage videos. Right also check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash carcinogensda where Zoe. I play Zoe. Resident Evil 7 and other games all the time. Wake up, Zoe! Joe, what happened? Are, are you okay? I'm fine, don't you worry about me. It's all over now. Go, 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 go! Don't move! Get your hands up! Get down! Weapons down! Weapons down! It's all right. You must be Zoe Baker. Who the hell's asking? Chris Redfield. Been looking all over for you. We're here to help. be just fine. I was trapped with those monsters for three years. All of them trying to kill me. I can't believe it's finally over. You gotta know. Deep down somewhere, they were still your family. And they loved you. Especially your daddy. Even in his final days. We found her. She's a tough kid. Yeah, of course. Hang on. Someone wants to speak to you. Zoe! Zoe, are you there? It's you! I don't believe it. You actually made it. We both did. You didn't forget about me. I told you I'd send help. And I always keep my promises. Thank you, Ethan. That's it then. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, see you all next video.